Basically, all of British politics is two school bullies and who is the better school bully? Because, of course, Keir Starman's like, default position, as all British politicians is, is to go, well, um, uh, I think Mr. Sunak is declining to jump off of the roof of the sports hall because he is gay. And um, <laughs> I, if I were in the position of being on the roof of the sports hall, I would jump off and I would be fine because I would jump off the roof of the sports hall in a sensible way. In the correct way, and in a way that supports working families. It just kind of reminds me. It reminds me of this story at school when the school bully did actually like convince someone to drink <laughs> to drink from a puddle because if they didn't, he would tell everyone that that kid was gay. Uh, and, and guess what that kid did? He was off school for two weeks after that. <laughs> because the labor right is so reactive to what the actual further right is doing. They I would drink from the puddle. <laughs> you <boil it. laughs> I can tell you. Uh, you can uh, you can ask my wife if I'm gay, and she would say <laughs> no. And then for that reason, <laughs> I would be more than happy to drink from the puddle, and I would be fine. So bring on the puddle. That's what. I, in fact, I think we should pour a puddle in front of the Palace of Westminster, and we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Which one of me or Rishi Sunak is able to drink more of the puddle fastest? Much like a game of Hungry Hungry Hippos. <laughs> which my children very much enjoy, and I play it with them sometimes. Neither of them are gay either, although I would support them if they were. But I have no reason to believe that they are. And I think we'll we'll see who is the gayer of me or, or the Prime Minister. <laughs>